January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, and scheduling preventative exams can keep you in the know about your sexual health. A pap smear or a pap test looks for precancers or cell changes on the cervix. Cell changes on the cervix are things that might become cancer if they're not treated appropriately. So cervical cancers, precancers, are when they're abnormal cervical cells on the cervix. Without testing, it's nearly impossible to detect changes that lead to cervical cancer. They don't usually cause pain. They don't typically cause any other symptoms. Women were recommended to schedule a pelvic exam as soon as they became sexually active. Now the recommendation has changed to 21 regardless of sexual activity. Screening is put into two categories. Category 1 is age 21 to 29 and then category 2 is age 30 to age 65. And health experts recommend asking your doctor about the different forms of testing. There's um, a pap smear with HPV testing which is called um, a co-test and then there's just a plain pap smear and then there's also just HPV testing. Your doctor will help you navigate what best benefits you based on your health history. From age 21 to 29, women will typically get a pap smear about every three years, but that can change depending on the results of their prior pap smears. And for those 30 to 65, if it's done with HPV testing, women can get a pap smear every five years. Um, after age 65, it's dependent on your prior history of precancerous cells um, or if you've had a hysterectomy due to non-cancerous issues like fibroids. There are preventative measures with the potential to prevent more than 90% of HPV attributable cancers, like the Gardasil vaccine. It protects from certain cancers which are caused by the HPV or human papillomavirus. Typically given between ages 11 and 12, children of all genders get two doses 6 to 12 months apart. The vaccination can also be given in children starting at age 9. Um, everyone through age 26 should get the HPV vaccination. According to Amanda, some adults up to age 45 who have not been vaccinated can talk to their health care provider and find out if the HPV shot series is right for them. For Arnett Health, I'm Lexi Cutmore.